Hey, James Joseph O'Neill, 510, and I'm with Wolf Talent Group. Atticus Finch. Jim, take your sister and your friend in the house. I think I should stay out here. Go on in the house. As I understand it, you're representing the nigger. I'll be defending Tom Robinson, yes, sir. And to do that, you're going to have to call my male a liar. And me a liar, too. Mr. Ewell, I'm afraid this is what's called a post-ergo hot communication. I ain't looking for trouble from you, Mr. Finch. I'm looking for fellowship. I had a chat with Vernon Hockney, and he saw things my way. I bet you will, too. Fellowship? Nah. We may not go in the same social circles. You ain't likely to run into me at the opera, but that shouldn't matter in a situation like this. I agree. Situation like this, it's about who runs the show. You know, as I said, I'm Tom Robinson's lawyer, and I shouldn't be Yes, speaking. you're his lawyer. But nowhere is written. you got to put your shoulder into it, right? Yes, it's written in the 4th, 5th, and 6th Amendments. Is it? Yes, sir. Friend, the Negro is in every corner of American life now since the terrible defeat of the white race in the so-called Civil War. Is the survival of your race something worth fighting for? Sure, but so far my race has been surviving relatively effortlessly. Atticus Finch, that's a Protestant name, I know it is, but uh, why do I detect some Hebraic seasoning? Is it the glasses or the condescension? I surely apologize if you felt I was being condescending. I just meant you know, it ain't the niggas I despise. It really ain't. The right to counsel. Because the niggas got no choice in the matter. That's what folks don't understand. The right to confront his accuser. God said, this one's a nigger. Ain't no choice in the matter. Well, my oh my, there's a prejudice, man. No. It's common sense. White men built Europe. White men built America. Niggas, they built Africa. We don't even have a goddamn road. So... It's either they don't mind living like animals or they just don't know how not to. I'm a fair man. Niggas are niggas. It's the race traitors I can't abide. And I'm a member of a, well, it's sort of a club with strong convictions. And those boys, what they'd say to you is one tree, two ropes. You fellows have no shortage of catchy slogans. And we got no shortage of rope. 